absolutely useless. Sorted. Smash fishing is live. Live with no fish. Oi oi! Make sure to hit that like button on the way in, guys. How's it going? Let's bring you over here near the rod. Love all your videos. Cheers, mate. Down the harbour. All right, Earl. Well, we've been down the harbour. We didn't get not even a nibble. So uh, we've moved spot now. We're at the East Arm. How you doing? Good, thanks. Been on a mad video mission at the moment. What are you after? Anything. We've got loads of bait. And the good old squishy scallop frills. Come on, you fish. We haven't even had a bite. That's the annoying part. Mackerel and that, mate. Favourite fish to eat is red mullet, hands down. Red mullet's delicious. We got Sam with us as well. So I'll just change you around. There's old Sam the man. How's it going? Sorted. Bit of ragworm. Oh no, that's logworm, eh? What rods do I use? Dial or wind cast? Here they are. Dial or wind cast, rough ground, four to eight ounce. I use those for conga fishing, bream fishing, everything really. And then I use the Pin Fathoms 25N. And these have been put through hell and they're still going. How big the basket over there? 18 pounds something's a record. Uh, but that's probably bigger. My real name's Jason. Uh, most people call me Jay. There you go, guys, you can see the rod tips. Seeing you try blue crab. Get them in America. Nice. Oi, oi, Barry. Caught yet? Nope, we ain't had a bite. It's been terrible. I know, you had a bite before, didn't you? Uh, we're fishing for everything. We've got, we've got all sorts of baits with us today. What was the, what's the rarest thing you've caught? Rarest? Probably a trigger fish. You don't really see them much. <laughs> Cheers, Colin. What's your biggest bass? My bass is double figures. I don't know the exact weight. What pound line are we using? 30 pounds straight through. That's all we ever use for the congas as well. Shout out David. Uh, lived in Guernsey my whole life. Entire life. Watch your kayak fishing video, it's awesome. Cheers, we're gonna do some more kayak once I get a new one. That'd be well fun. Be sick to get back out, eh? Yeah, definitely, man. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Happy hunting, happy fishing. Best bait for bass. Uh, there's quite a few, to be fair. Any sort of worm baits. Peeler crab's amazing. Worms amazing. There's quite a few. Ever fished in Jersey? No. Jersey's not the better island. <laughs> yeah, we checked it today. And uh, the pot was crap. I left it for a whole week as well. Uh, da, da, da. Any tips to catch bass, ground, rig? 
Uh, I tend to use uh, up and over rig. Uh, sorry, one up, one down rigs. Uh, 3 o hooks, 25 pound trace, just in case you catch a conga or something. Uh, that's the best ones for me anyway. Would you consider doing spear fishing again? Yes, uh, I'm just waiting on tides and weather at the moment, then I'll do some more spear fishing for sure. The fishing's been rubbish lately. <laughs> right, caveman fisher. What's the weirdest thing you've pulled up uh, apart from a fish? No idea. Probably a shopping trolley down the lighthouse. Were you there that day when I had the shopping trolley? I don't know. I think so. See you, kid. Tight line. See you later, David. Where's the net? Don't need a net tonight. We can't even catch a cold. Well, I got the little micro net. Oh yeah, you got the micro net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we don't really catch red lobsters. Twins fishing. Shout out. Uh, Guernsey's probably not a cheap place for a holiday, but it's good fun over here if you like fishing. Oi, right, Scott. You read fast, Jay. No, not quite. I'm actually really bad at reading. Uh, it's YouTube that's actually got me better at it, to be honest. That's school and I was dyslexic. Yeah, I got Sam with me today. Sam the man. Sam's the man who will hopefully catch a fish for us. Inglorious. I don't know where Inglorious is. He was live before. Did it did do. The housing cheap to buy. Uh, you need about half a mil for uh, for a house over here. Oh, favorite seafood that you've ever ate? I don't know. I've eaten some quite weird stuff lately and it's actually really nice. Nice. Come on you fish. Where's all the fish, Sam? I don't know. We need those slabber saws. <laughs> you got it ready? Ready. Merch. I seriously need smash hoodies. I've actually set my website up for merch. Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be letting it all go soon. Uh, you guys will see it all. I'll make sure all the subscribers know. I've set my website up and which one was that? Yeah, I reckon left. Yeah, I've done loads of different design for hoodies and t-shirts and vests and you name it, even beach towels. <laughs> what is the best time of the year to fish there? Um, you can catch fish all year round because we get them as seasonal basically. We get like the spider crabs, the gilt eds, we get the squid and it's all different times. So depending on when you come is depends what's on what's, what's in season really. Have fun guys. Uh, there's no COVID over here, Joshua. We haven't had a case for how long now? I think it's about 70 days? Yeah, 70 days without any cases whatsoever of Corona. When's the next shed live? I need to do one soon because uh, I'm moving house. So that's going to be the last lead, the last real shed live that we're going to do. So we'll have to do it probably maybe this weekend. We'll have to do a proper shed live. Can you get Gilt Ed in Brighton? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Always promote. Whoa. Which, it's this one. It's on the right one again. Yeah. Do you reckon we got a little eel on it or something? A little snot eel. A little snot eel. Got a snotty. <laughs> I got the net. Nah, that's not there. No?
just chat to the folks. TV. What? Found a TV. A TV? Yeah. Where? Turn it off in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's going foraging. We're going to watch Smash Fishing while, we, uh, while we're on Smash Fishing. I think we've got a big one. See you later, Earl. I was off the oh, bed. That's a fresh pile of seaweed right there. Oh, nice. That's what you call a PB. <laughs> seaweed fetch. Don't need the net then. It's great. Looks like I've been out. Look at Look at that. That's a fresh piece of lettuce right there. Eat it. <laughs> No, we've already had Chinese. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, you fish. He's a black log worm. Great bait, but only when the fish are here. The problem is this time of year, we get a massive growth of sea lettuce and stuff like that and it makes uh, bait fishing like this a bit difficult because all you end up catching is weed. <laughs> Nice old lump of squid. Oh, shout out whoever gave that donation. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Thanks for that. There we go. Fresh bit of black log worm, fresh squid head. And probably catch another piece of lettuce. <laughs> it's like a story of our life at the moment, eh, Sam? Yeah. Let's go catch some sea lettuce and probably bird nest if we can. Don't snap the rod. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that again. That's the cast. That's the cast of big fish and sea lettuce. Oh, listen to that reel, guys. That's a well seasoned reel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No Larry's tonight. Nah, no Larry's tonight. It's all about the fishing. Dee 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 dee. Shout out Freddy, cheers mate. Shout out Phil Fishes. Yeah, nice one, Freddy. I appreciate that, mate. Come on, you guys have got front row seat of the uh, of the of the of the weed catching my fishing rods. <laughs> I got no faith in a bite tonight. <laughs> Three hundred nine in the live. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Are you going to buy a boat? Yeah, eventually. Definitely. What do you do for work? I'm a full-time YouTuber. Is Rock Samfire good? Going to give it a taste on the weekend? I'm not a big fan of it, but a lot of people do like it. I might drop one in the harbour soon and see if I can catch a snot eel. Yeah, do it. 
getting desperate. <laughs> Have you ever seen a go fish cam? Need a bit of kit, might be worth. Uh, no, I can't say I have, John. I'll have to have a look. Oh, oh, that was a bite. Go on. Go on. Go on, son. Smash him in the face. Oh, okay. he's in. Get him, boy. Let's get the net. That's a guy. Ooh. She coming? Prematurely struck that one. Smashed it in the face. I've smashed it in the face and pulled the hook out. Oh dear. Well, I must know the fish are turned up. Yeah. Actually got a bite, I'm happy. Oh yeah, you know the my rod for sure. Is it? Yeah. Oh shit. I'll go your way. Sorry, mate. Well, it's not your fault. Is there a fish on the end of that? Yeah, there is. <laughs> Kill him, Tom! <laughs> Hell yeah! I'll have to keep some tension there. Yeah. Is that a fish? I'm pretty sure I heard a fish. What is it? Is it? Hey! thing was so small I didn't know it was on. So uh, drop it out of the net mate. Chop with that little baby breeze, I don't care. Fish on. Oh, turn that off. Hey, hey, we got a fish. Only took us three hours, but we got a fish. <laughs> that light's well bright. There you go, guys. That's a little black bream. If it was a bit bigger, we would have ate that. I've got the barbecue with me as well. But hey ho, we got one. That light's well bright, eh? There you go, that's better. That's a black bream there. Awesome little fish. Didn't even know I had it on. I thought it was a piece of weed. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'll take you with me to release it. Black bream. Look at the colours on that bad boy. Yes! Cheers, Freddy! This one's for you, Freddy. <laughs> Just taking him somewhere where I don't have to throw him over the uh, over the rocks. There you go. Mr. Black Bream goes down. And it's off. Yeah, let's go get some more. Now you can't put a float out where we are because the uh, the tide runs mental. Cheers, mate. We actually caught a fish. Aloha, Kelsey. All right. Get that light back up there. Get it baited up. That was on the fresh logworm. Or was it the squid? Do you reckon that was a squid? I don't know. Oh, might have found the secret, Sam. I've got logworm and squid on. Oh. Where's the party squid gone? Probably used it all. Oh, it's there. We'll do a bit of an experiment now. These are party squid. Look how small they are. <laughs> they 
get one of these on. They actually stink, these party squid. Right, that was there. Good old black log worm. Put two on there just to be safe. <laughs> Fill it up, why not? There we go. One juicy log worm bait, one juicy squid, and half a log worm bait. Probably catch nothing. Smash good luck tonight. Cheers, Alex. Appreciate it, mate. David McEwen. No tears tonight, please. You fully deserve it. You're a legend, mate. Nah, shout out, David. Bloody hell. <laughs> I hate it when people donate a lot, man, because it puts me on the spot. <laughs> Oh, thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. Right, this cast is for you. Hopefully, I don't birdie it. Right. Here comes the birdie. Oh, she's gone. That is the cast again. Are we going to get a bream or are we going to get a sea lettuce fish? <laughs> me and the missus, chill out to you guys all the time. Got me hooked into fishing again. Pun intended. Fair play, Luke. Cheers, buddy. You're a legend. Smash fishing, baby. I've actually been really enjoying making this merch up and that, I must admit, guys. You guys have been hampering me for merch for a long time, so it'd be good to get that on the go. I found a place in the States called Guernsey. I'm ordering it because of you. <laughs> you never tell what the limit are for crabs, lobsters and shellfish. Uh, what do you want to know, mate? At the end of the day, if we caught enough of stuff, then I would tell you, but we don't catch enough to break a law. Love the vids, man. Got me into fishing. I love it. Nice one. Could you do an experimental video using meat baits, chicken, bacon, etc.? I could try. I used the chicken ball off the lighthouse and didn't catch anything. You caught a piece of seaweed, eh? Got a big piece of yeah, seaweed. on a chicken ball. <laughs> what beach casts are you using? Dial or wind casts? Um, what are the limits? Well, I haven't got a book with me today, but I believe, I believe it's five lobsters and ten crabs for a recreational person. What are you after, lads? We're after everything, David. We're just literally just trying to catch what we can. We're actually glad we caught a fish because uh, we spent the last three hours. We ordered a Chinese while we were fishing there and we didn't even get a bite. Sonic Edition Rod Maker, yes. Uh, the rod that I snapped the other day, I had that rod for, oh, it's got to be over seven years. And uh, I've caught 30 plus pound congas on it. And that was a Sonic SKS. A brilliant rod, really light. And they're only 50 quid each. Have you tried crab cart? No, I haven't. Hi, MS. Big bream catch and cook live. If we catch a big one, I'll cook it. I don't mind, as long as my credit holds out. Well, I've got the old barbecue in here as well. Barbecue a bream up, why not? Got three hounds earlier, nice. What bait are you using? We got, we got black log, we got squid, scallop frills. We got a bit of everything to be fair. I've got a Sonic SKS and I'm loving it. Yeah, they're brilliant rods, Jonathan. And they can they can take some beating as well. Hashtag smash fam. You guys are mental at the moment. When I put a video up, 
It's got more likes than it has views for the first five minutes. <laughs> uh, no contract, no. Hello mate, always watch your videos. Inspired me to cook lobster and clowns, was so good. I'm a chef, nice. I uh, watching these videos, nice one mate. Uh, Lucas, we're targeting anything really mate, just anything. Uh, no, we don't really sleep very well. Stephen Edwards, <laughs> is that old Jock? I believe that's Jock. Uh, oh, we're gonna do a Herman Sark trip soon, Jock. Yeah, that might, uh, remember you pissed drunk in the shed. Yeah, that might happen again soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, shout out Jock, what a legend. Oh, Jock. What? You see that star over there? Oh, you starting again. <laughs> you see that star over there? That's freaking Mars, that's Jupiter. That is, that is Mars. <laughs> that's Sam's anus. <laughs> <laughs> Any coastal foraging soon? Uh, it won't be for a couple of weeks because of the tides. We got nip tides at the moment. Have you caught anything yet? I got a, I got a bream. Uh, yeah, I watch Young Bloods. What are you up to, Sam? He's stargazing. Waiting for that giant effer. <laughs> North, shout out North Car What's that? Carolina or California? I didn't see that properly, sorry. Dee 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 dee. Be nice to see a conga come up, eh? Yeah, for sure. Oh, you want to <laughs> Do you ever use fixed balls? Yeah, I, I tend to use fixed balls for gilt heads and bass more than anything. Uh, but only problem is I, I broke my rod, so I haven't got my fixed ball rod at the moment. If Sam catches a fish, he has to, he has to do a dance. He'd probably do a dance anyway. <laughs> Catch watching your video. Nice. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Helps the channel out a bit. Oh, what was that, Sam? That was an inquiry. I heard an inquiry right there, sir. Is the fish going to participate in a cup of char? Oh, spiffing. <laughs> Pen Rampage is a good rod. Is he still there? Nah. Get the folks some live action. Broadcasting live on Smash Catching Sea Letters. There's nothing there. I haven't even got sea letters. How many rods have you broken? Not many. Oh, actually, I'll take that back. Like spin rods and stuff, I've broken quite a lot. But beach casters, I've probably only broke about three in my life. But it just so happens that we uh, we got it on camera. That was the best bit. So uh, I'm doing a highlight reel of all the mess ups that we've done. Like broken rods or whatever. Just doing a big random mashup of funny stuff, really. Come on, you fish. Who reckons I should uh, chuck a big bait out? I'll get the up and over on. Are you planning to make squid catch and cook videos? They are definitely coming. Um, we're just waiting for them to turn up. We get them seasonal over here. So uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. Same as a cuttlefish. Jet, my, my missus loves to catch squid and cuttlefish. Olivia, thank you very much. Always a better day when I get to watch your videos. First time commenting. Keep up the amazing work. Shout out Olivia, you're a legend. Smash is the silly is the silly stick 30 to 50 pound okay for a pier fishing. I've never heard of that rod to be honest with you. You'll be showing any more World War II stuff, yeah? Yeah, I'll definitely do a few more vlogs if you want to see it. Um those those videos actually do a lot better than my coastal foraging and stuff at the moment. 
you guys seem to really enjoy it. Oh, ugly sticks are amazing. Only problem with them, like the tip gets really soft after a while. Aloha. How's the bite? We got one bite in the last three and a half hours. You need to get a big fish. I'll reel my end rod in in a minute and then uh, we'll chuck a big bait out. I enjoy the coastal foraging. I love making the coast. The coastal foraging will never stop. Same as the fishing and stuff. This vlogging stuff's new to me, so I was just trying to like make a bit extra content for you guys. I'm not sure we get many squid over where I live. We get them in abundance. When they come in, they come in in masses. A bit like the spider crabs. The spider crabs are always gone now. Most prized catch is probably a gilt head at the moment. Is that another inquiry, Mr. Deeds? It was another inquiry. He wants to participate in a cup of char. Try to get some prawn for bait. I've seen, um, oh, what's it, Slippy Limpet's video when he used the prawns on his float or something. I've, for I've forgotten how it went, but yeah, he did well on that one. Where do you get the spider crab pot? What was that? So, where do the spider crabs go? Uh, they migrate. I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly where, but yeah, they they migrate out. Sam had a nice bite then. Go on, Sam. Uh, P.O. Box, I'm waiting for a phone call from the post office because they've never had a P.O. Box from a YouTuber before, so I don't know why that stops me having a P.O. Box, but I'm waiting for their phone call from the manager. Um... No, I don't use Shakespeare stuff very much. Yeah, I, I could do another catch and cook with the seaweeds. I've been learning a few extra ones lately, so we'll uh, we we'll get that done. It's not there. Nothing. It's not happening, Sam. There we go, we're focused back in now. Uh, no, no glow beads. The Portsmouth Angler is actually going to send me some. So I might use it. What's your favourite fishing brand? Probably Penn. Penn and Iowa, probably. Three one seven. El Toro. Go Sam, get that fish. I want to see you do the dance. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Come on, you fish. I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck a big bait on in a minute. Hi from Florida. Clee M, shout out Clee M. What are the best rods for congas? I love these. The Diwa wing cast. Um you've got that length there, but you've also got like <laughs> the stiffness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite a stiff rod, and um, you can winch them out of the holes pretty easily. It's got a bit of girth. Bit of girth. <laughs> <laughs> it's your biggest fish you have caught? Excuse me, big fish. Uh, no idea. Uh, my biggest fish is either a conger or a tope. Around the 40 pound mark. I've never had anything huge, you know. You pulling that fish in, Sam? Jump the line. <laughs> a stiff length. <laughs> Have you seen the Tronics Pro M Sport? No, I haven't, Phil. Smash that live bait fishing, baby. Um. Well, I'm getting off an over rig out. I'm going for it. Going big baits. Going big baits. If all else fails, throw a big bait. Why not? Stick a big bait on and try for a lucky whale. Yeah. Feeling a whale. Feeling a whale. We're going to we're going whale bashing. 
<laughs> um, would you be able to hold the camera for a bit, mate? Yeah. Just don't want to leave the guys waiting. Um, where's my knife? We're doing some live filming today. Oh, it's got an inquiry. You want a cup of tea, sir? How about a biscuit? Tea and biscuits, please. Tea and biscuit? Yep, yep, tea and biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying, a snot eel or a conga? I oh, have no idea. Something slimy. <laughs> hey, Clee. I've got a six ounce grip on there, so I just want to set up my big bait. Where can you get a foraging hook from? Uh, uh, you just buy a spear. Yeah, just make it. Yeah, if you buy a spear from any local tackle shop, they only cost you about 15 pounds. And then uh, you can just carve a handle glue it in and then that's, you get the forager hook that will last you forever. <laughs> if all else fails, get the big baits Get out. the big baits. It's all about the big baits. Oh! Oh, inquiry. I got an inquiry. You want a cup of tea? Tea and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find the end of this. Oh, he wants it. There we go. There we go. We're good. Nice big bait. Squeeze it into a nice sausage and then bind the hell out of it. This is really thin, this stuff. Good for the guilt, that bait. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've basically finished a project now, Andy. Um, me and Jay are just going to go and test it out on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will be making a little video on it because, yeah, it's going to be funny. Get it up on the uh, Guernsey Angler. Shout out the Guernsey Angler. There you go, look at that. When all else fails, throw something big out. Hi, everyone. Going on the uh, up and over. Yeah, I'm gonna take the head off. <laughs> yeah. There we go. In the top, out the bottom, in through the same hole, out again, and you go in through the hole, down, and out the bottom. You can pull that end in. Look at that, sits nicely on the outside while your whole rig tangles up. And then you've got your panel hook, you come down, one, two, three, and then straight through both. And that bait there will catch any big fish that's out there. Juicy. Probably catch a big piece of kelp, but we're, we're going to try. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight is like a no-go mission. No, nah, it hasn't been very <laughs> successful. I mean, the best part about tonight was the Chinese. Yeah, that was well nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that one. My battery's well dead on the head torch. He's got backup. What? He's got backup. <laughs> I've always got backup, mate. <laughs> better head torch. Oh, he's going for a standing cast off the wall. No, I need to change my rig over here. Oh, yeah. Are you bringing that one in now? Got a bit of weight on there? Yeah. You got a bit of lettuce weed again? I've got a bit of lettuce. <laughs> Enjoying it after our cup of tea. Tea and biscuits. 
Oh, I could do with some bourbons right now. That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, inquiries. You got my line again. How have I got your line? <laughs> My bad. That's you, that. That's me. <laughs> That's my fault. Well, we got a tangle. Oh, we got a tangle. Tangle with the tangle. The angle of the tangle. Oh, got it. Base. That's a bonus. Oh. The infamous lettuce wheat. Lettuce wheat. Catch of the day. Nothing on there, mate. No, I don't think. We haven't even had a dogfish. That does it all, eh? That's how bad it's been. Yeah. You know, it's bad when you can't catch a dogfish. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, eh? I think we've got a bit of seaweed on here. It doesn't surprise me. Bit of lettuce weed. I said nothing but seaweed. And I'm breathing. Big baits, big fish, big piece of seaweed. down nicely to bomb it out a long way as well. You got the TV? <laughs> it's not a TV. What is it? I've just worked out what it is. What is it? Look up. It's a bloody extractor. It's a light. Look, is it? the light is cut off. And that's why we haven't got no light on us. There's a lamppost right there, and the light's been taken off or blown off. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, come on, big fish, where you at? Be happy with a 14 pound bass, that'd be good. Yeah, just 14 pounds, nothing huge. <laughs> Set it for scrap, yeah, stainless steel there. <laughs> that tide's ripping, eh? Yeah, I know. What size hooks are you using? Uh, J hooks on the uh, on all of them, really. Come on, you fish! Got to catch something, eh? Just something. Five hundred and ten in the live. Two hundred and eighty-nine likes. Cheers, guys. Catch some prawns. Uh, yeah, we can do one time. 
Uh, usually the prawns come in more during the winter, you get the bigger ones. Got any more parts to build around? Yeah, it's all back there, mate. Beautiful. Dee 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 dee. 300 likes. Nice one, guys. Kept me up late. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan, yeah, I'll definitely I'll get a boat in the future when I'm on the roads probably so I can actually get fuel and stuff uh, Eel that's something that we are gonna do a catch and cook with the snot eels because apparently they're really nice on the barbie So I've seen this um, Japanese way of doing it I've taken the backbone out and then putting them on the barbie so we'll try them like I'm off. See you later mate Surprised we got so many in the live this, this late at night. What's the best bait for big bass? Probably a mackerel head in my opinion. I've caught some clonkers on mackerel head. Just throwing them out randomly. A bit like tonight where I threw that big bait. And uh, yeah, I've done that in the past with a mackerel head and caught giant bass. But if you want like numbers, like big peeler crab and stuff like that, you'll get loads with. And squid, you'll get them in squid as well. Black lock and crab, yeah. Dan will be raging with the views you're getting, Jay. <laughs> That's because you're getting all the United States people watching it. It's prime time here. Oh, it's interesting to know. I might go live more at night time then if, uh, if more of you guys want to see it. What reels do you use? We use the Pen Fathom. Uh, 25 N. Are you a superstar on the island? No, I'm just a rebel like everyone else. <laughs> I ain't no superstar. If you look at me, I, I walk around in torn clothes, stinky fishy hats. Trust me, I'm no superstar. <laughs> Live videos, hell yeah. Uh, P.O. Box will come eventually. I'm just waiting for the bloody uh, post office. Did they call you back? No, they still ain't called me yet. What? Where's the net tonight in Sam's, uh, in Sam's van? No, we don't use uh, barbless hooks. We only use uh, barbed. Next time you go bass fishing, use cockles, mussels, clam, etc. Bass love them. Uh, we use gaper clam a lot, and uh, we get a lot of bass on gaper clam. Hi Rachel, sorry Smash fam, I was just listening and having fun watching while prepping kids for school care. Nice one. Come on you fish. Enjoy your videos. Melbourne, Australia. I've noticed I've had a massive influx in Australian viewers as well. Uh, like 20%. Is uh, Australian viewers at the moment. That's wicked. Where are you? East Arm in Guernsey. No, I've never used a Sonic Vader. I was going to buy them a while back, but I ended up uh, getting the Diowas because Sam brought me one for my birthday. Did you just come from painting the house? Now, these are my old work clothes. I go fishing so much, I basically live in my work clothes. I'm good, thanks. North Carolina. I was there earlier. Did you get anything, mate? Was that you that we seen? New York. Why are there two dislikes? Uh, we all got haters, mate. They don't matter though, they're just fans in denial. <laughs> Good luck. Cairo's house, shout out mate. Love listening, you're going to do the fish. Haven't seen your girlfriend lately? No, she's all good. She's got two weeks off at the moment, so she's enjoying herself. California. Fans in denial. It's true. <laughs> Haters have never meant much to me. There's too many good people on my channel for me to concentrate on haters. But I saw Dano the other day. Oh, fair play, mate. Don't bother with the Vaders. 
handles. So, all right. I won't bother with the Vaders then. I'm quite happy with these wing casts. I've never had a problem with them yet, touch wood. They're good rods though, they? Yeah. And they got, they got enough sensitivity in the tips to use them for like bream fishing and that. Yeah, they don't sell them anymore, right? Oh, do they not? Nah. Oh, right. That's... I was lucky to get that one. What was that? That big bait had an inquiry. Big bait? Something just rattled it. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the corner of my eye. I'd get a recognition from one of the people I sub to. Ha, cheers, bud. No worries, mate. Manchester. What's the real noise if not a bite? We've got a lot of tide flow here. That's a bloody good question. Uh, we've got a massive tide flow from left to right at the moment. Uh, we're going to come up to high, high slack water in an hour or so, which it will stop and then it will start going from right to left. No, I haven't fished much outside of Guernsey. Haven't needed to, to be honest. There's good fishing over here. No, never fished North Wales. What size J-hooks do you use? I use a 6.0 on the big baits and I use a size 1 for bream and flatfish and stuff on the little flapper rigs on this rod. Go after the tuners, yeah. I'll go shark fishing, as they say. I wouldn't leave Guernsey, Rachel. I'm through and through Guernsey, boy. <laughs> Good luck. Cheers, mate. No, I've never used the SKS Blacks. Two men on their natural habit. Just fish rounds so well. <laughs> Cheers, David. Appreciate it. Uh, the lobby pot has been doing rubbish, Shelley. Um, we caught our one keeper lobster in a while back, and ever since today as well, it's been absolutely dead. Yeah, we just haven't had much in it at all. My dad's from Guernsey, he never fished anywhere else. He says it always disappointing. Can't beat Guernsey. You can't beat Guernsey. You usually get something if you go. If not, you'll catch a nice piece of sea, sea lettuce. Uh, wreck fishing's definitely on the cards, Lucas, definitely. Cheers, Owen. Can we get a hell yeah if I catch a fish? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never fished the west coast of Scotland. I've been watching you since you had been watching you since you have 300 subscribers. Love the catch and cooks. Nice one, mate. You've been around a while then. Haha, <laughs> cheers, Lee. Matt, yeah, definitely. I will move the pot eventually. I was, we were only talking about that today. It's really not doing that well. That's Sam's job to say hell yeah. <laughs> That's right. If we catch a decent fish, then the, the whole tempo will change. I can assure you that. We go from zero to 100 very quickly. <laughs> Thanks to Sam for replying my message about the Guernsey Bass Laws. Good man, Sam. What's up, lads? My day job, I'm a YouTuber, Danny. Uh, I do this full time. Love your channel, mate. My mum especially laughs so hard when you say baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. It's a good thing about the lives. It shows you what fishing's really like. In the videos, you see all the best parts of the evening. But uh, on a live, you see the waiting game that we have to go through every time. <laughs> Are you cooking later on? If we catch something decent, I'll get the barbie on the go, I don't mind. Hell yeah. New York. Love watching your foraging videos. Cheers, mate. 
do bigger fish, put bigger hooks, more often than smaller hooks, or does it matter? I don't think it matters, Tom. Uh, if a fish is going to eat the bait, it's going to eat the bait at the end of the day. As long as the hook's big enough to go in its mouth. Uh, Nass got the, the pot ain't doing very well at all. Uh, yeah, we thought we were going to get a few more lobsters where it was, but it's been rubbish. It really has. I'm all good, Tim. Thanks, mate. Could do with another fish. That'd be good. I want something big to take the big bait. What's that? What's more painful? The wait for a fish or the wait for the wife when clothes shopping? Oh, I don't go clothes shopping. Jen does that by herself. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't mind waiting for fish. At the end of the day, I just like being out. My missus watches your vlogs but hates the eels. <laughs> Fair play. Nice one. My rod went went like that and it went bing. Or big bait. Yeah. I'm twitching. Bait. Getting twitchy, Sam. We have an inquiry. Tea and biscuits? Tea and biscuits, sir. How about a croissant? A croissant? A croissant. Or baby croissant? Yeah. Macro L squid croissant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen that on the camera. The rod went from bent like that and then it popped up like that. That's usually a fish taking the bait and pulling the weight out. This isn't your usual where you fish. Why, why have you moved? Uh, we fish all over. It's just a lot of the time we don't catch anything, so you don't see the videos. <laughs> Is octopus common in Guernsey? It used to be, Nicholas. Um, my pop used to tell me, they used to go, uh, they used to walk down the beach and be able to just find an octopus easily. But then we had a really low tide once and a really cold freeze come over and it, it wiped out the population. How much to go foraging with you? Uh, I wouldn't charge anything, mate. I wouldn't do any guiding or anything. If you were, are you over here? I'd probably get asked that about three times a day to uh, pay to take them out and stuff, but uh, I'm not interested in taking people out, to be honest. I just, I'm just happy going out and making my little YouTube videos. This is Guernsey Channel Islands. We're in between uh, France and England. Come on, big bait. Never seen a rainbow trout with with meat that salmon collar. Anyway, no idea where that came from. It was definitely farm stuff, from what I've heard. I've just never tried uh, rainbow trout before. That's why I brought it. Those blue crabs are really good. What size rods? These are 13 foot. Here we go. Was that you? Surely you're not over my way. No, you're over my way. Hey, I'm over to the right here. Are you over my line or not? Because I just have a bite if not. No. That was definitely a bite then. Oh, I've been hammered. Huh? I've been hammered. Yeah? Yeah. My line was slapped. And I have no bait. I thought you might have hit my line, but I'm quite far over to the left. Little inquiries. Will, uh, thanks for the vids, mate. Much love from Wales. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Three ounce pollock. Yeah, probably. I'd be lucky to catch a three ounce pollock right now. Uh, the fisherman. If you want to see some more wrasse videos, I can do more, mate. 
Yeah, I could definitely do more Texas rigging. That's great fun. Hell yeah, baby. Those Asian ones look quite different, but goodness. Similar taste. Yeah, they're very similar in taste. That that uh, Asian blue. I think that's what it was called. That's what they called it in the fish shop. But um, yeah, that was delicious. That was identical to spider crab. Identical. Really sweet. Texas and Carolina rig are awesome. Yeah, I mainly use the uh, Texas rig. I'm tripping over that bloody line. Uh, deep sea, uh, deep fishing. When I when I get my new kayak, I'll definitely do more kayak fishing. I, I sold mine because I was back then. I, I had no money, so I had to I had to sell my kayak. Always grab a cup of ragworm each. Competition, nice. That's the best way to do it, though. Get the missus involved, bit of ragworm, catch some fish. Can't go wrong with that, mate. Five hundred and sixty-six in the live. Nice one, guys. I'm gonna have to go live at night more often. Edward, shout out. How often do you fresh water fish? Uh, I don't. I don't fresh water fish ever, really, to be honest with you. Uh, Dustin, we got um, one bream and a big pile of seaweed. <laughs> I'm hoping the big bait comes up trumps. Corn beef. Don't think you have. No, we got quarries. Um, they are stocked with stuff like trout and uh, carp and stuff like that. Some actually pretty big carp over here. But you have to get like permits and stuff. Have you fished Leo Island? Yes, Brian. Leo Island is brilliant, especially for congas. I haven't fished it a huge amount, but yeah. Yeah, I've got... how do you know, Edward? I've got merch here. I haven't, I haven't launched anything yet, but um, yeah, that'll be coming out soon. Great viewing, just need a rod to bend over now. That's it, mate. Uh, Lee, yeah, definitely. Spearfishing's definitely on the cards. Any chance I get to go, I will. Have you seen the comet? What comet? The one that flies in the sky. No. <laughs> <laughs> Smash it has. Smash it has a scroll of your merch under the title of vid. <laughs> it's come up already, is it? I didn't even know. Uh, I linked my YouTube channel to it. Oh well, if you can get it early, then fair play to you. <laughs> That's good to know. The merch has actually come up under the video, Sam. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, cheers. Look, thanks for letting me know that, because I was curious if it was working or not. I've had a few little technical difficulties with all the merch stuff. Cheers, mate. Any plans to do any videos with other YouTubers? Yeah, definitely. I'll do, I'll do videos with anyone, really, if the time calls for it. Yeah, I finally got merch, Lee. It was actually a pain to sort out, but yeah, I finally got it. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Get a hell yeah when I catch a fish. Video with fish locker. Maybe one day, not at the moment. <laughs> a Larry Lobster hoodie. Yeah, you seen that one? <laughs> That's a classic. And big baits. Ah, uh, nice to know you like it, mate. Happy days. You guys shouldn't even see that yet. <laughs> How
how do I get merch? I haven't launched it yet, Lee. It's just popped up in my in my videos apparently. So it is what it is, really. In the shop link, but <laughs> what's the cost of living over here? It's it's expensive living over here, but the wages are quite high to be fair. Gonna try crab for the first time tomorrow. Nice. Try it without anything. And if you're not keen on it, try it with a bit of salt, pepper, and a bit of vinegar. It always makes the crab taste well better. Says so you have 24 items. Yeah, that's it. I've kept it quite small. I didn't want a load of stuff. Cheers, Rachel. I tried to do a little bit of everything for everyone because uh, obviously we got a lot of kids that watch the channel as well, so yeah. There's <laughs> all your merch, holy and full of paint. <laughs> Does Sam model the leggings? Oh, you wait for the pictures, Andy. He loves them. He got himself a pair of cheese, uh, what's it called? Cheese string thongs, you know? Leopard print, <laughs> especially for you, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> right what's that uh is there much difference in taste with spider crab and a normal crab yes spider crabs a lot sweeter than most crabs a lot sweeter but sam should do more vids in this channel yeah he does plan to he's gonna have a cool one coming when uh he gets his little project on the go I'd love to do a collab with Black Tip H. That'd be well cool. Catch some Goliath groupers. You watch me get pulled in. <laughs> Man dies Goliath grouper fishing. Me a smash fishing hat with hell yeah we're who written on it. Yeah, they. Uh, I will do hats eventually. I've just got to do a few more things to get it. Any Guinness tonight? No, I don't drink. I don't drink when I go out fishing. It's not safe. Man, it's dead, eh? Yeah, I know, nothing. Cheers, mate. From Florida. What conditions are needed to spearfish? Clear water. So if we have like uh, four days of low winds, then usually it's pretty good, to be honest. The fish know you're live streaming. Yeah, you know it. Mrs. Guernsey Angler, Amy's in the chat. She's still awake. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, we can't catch a fish. <laughs> what time is it? It's Jay's fault. Caught 20 to, tw uh, 20 to 1. Is it 20 to 1? Yeah. What's Sam's channel? At the Guernsey Angler. Uh, if any of the mods can get his link, just chuck it in and uh, let people have a look. Is Amy your sister? Yeah, Amy's my sister. Right, I'm going for a rebate. We need to rebate this. All we need is a big old fish. Ah, oh, he's got a 50 pounder. I got a 50 pound bootlace weed fish. With a side order of don't know what.
Check that out, guys. That's a PB weed fish. You know, tropical species. <laughs> Sums up our night, eh? Nice seaweed fish, you know it. Beautiful seaweed fish. The stringy seaweed fish. There's the hook. We've got tons of this around at the moment. It makes fishing really difficult. It's like one time I actually praying for a dogfish. Of Caught ten pound yet, sir? Fifty-three pound cod. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. I'm just tipping these off with a bit of scallop frills, just to try and get that little bit of wiggle in the in the water. Just anything to try and get a bite at the moment. There we go. That's a prime old bait right there. That's a beast. Right. Give it the old one too. Buckle my shoe. Catch a piece of seaweed and throw it at Sam too. <laughs> Take it right. He's a rapper. Smash raps. Smash raps at one in the morning because we're losing our mics. We can't catch a bloody fish. All right, the old one, two, buckle my shoe. Oh, it's a big, big cast. Oh, it's fair over me. Is it? I don't know. It's a good cast, then. <laughs> Fresh baits. Let's go. Come on, big fish. Where are you? Yeah, I think you are. Is it? Yeah. Sorry, mate. Right. Sorry, but not sorry. Dogfish should just hit them on the head with something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the sea is really calm. It's usually terrible for fishing when the sea's really calm. But you never know, you might get the odd fish. How many like to get you to... Jay, how many like to get you to go fishing in the UK? Quite a few people want to. Uh, yeah, I want to get, get out to the UK and stuff, but um, when the time calls for it. Obviously with all the virus stuff and that, we're not going anywhere for a while. Vegan fishing right here. Yeah, we're getting sea letters. Are you going for gilts? We can get gilts off here. Yeah, you can get the gilts off here. Yeah, I'll come to Wales one time, for sure. Channel for ages, big fan. Hope you get 100k ASAP. You deserve it. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. The channel's growing lovely at the moment. No, we should have done. What? Went off to that conga mark. We should have gone Just... anywhere but here. Yeah, anywhere but here and the other spot and the spot before it. <laughs> yeah. 
It hasn't been successful. Do you love fish sticks? Yeah. Both give me the forager bug. Oh, nice. Get out there and get those lorry larries. Your mate's is, your mate, what's that? Your merch is great. Something for everyone. Cheers, Edward. Appreciate that, mate. <laughs> You're not even supposed to see that. <laughs> My bad. Do -do 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 -do. Coffee and donut. I could do have a coffee right now. That'd be nice. Need to catch a fish, we're getting hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Sam doesn't say a lot, but he's got a wicked sense of humour when he does. You two have fun regardless. It's uplifting to watch. Cheers, Rachel. Yeah, he's a nutter, really. <laughs> Can't get over the Larry Lobster. I've got to have a Larry Lobster hoodie, eh? <laughs> For me and the wife, cleaning more fish than we go fishing. <laughs> Love your videos. Cheers, Amy. Will it be pot noodle in the morning if you don't catch? No, I'll probably keep fishing. I got work tomorrow. Huh? I don't. I can just carry on fishing, eh? I'll just go down the east arm and fish the tide down. <laughs> Would you rather be a helicopter or a carp? What a question. Killer Meatloaf, shout out. Happy birthday, Killer Meatloaf. 400 likes. Nice one, guys. It's awesome. Do you like fishing low tide? Yeah. Um, depends where I'm going. Different marks I fish at different state of tides. But yeah, low tide is just as good as high tide depending on where you go. Definitely. Good stream, bud. Cheers, mate. What's your favourite clam to eat? Favourite clam? Um, the, Dossi the elegant Dossinia clams are the best. They're amazing. Fishing low tide tomorrow, nice. Yeah, I got merch now, mate. I haven't launched it yet, but it's uh, it's on my YouTube channel because I linked them, and uh, I must not have uh, put it to private. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to have a look, go and have a look. It's fine. Big fan of you, dude. Cheers, mate. Alan. I love watching your videos, man. Cheers, mate. Can you do catch and cook flatfish? Uh, if I get one. Yeah, um, flatfish are quite hard to get over here. We do get them, but just not often. So they're hard to target. Um, I, like If I go out of Inglorious one time and get a turbot, then yeah, I'll, I'll do a fillet and cook. Cook that bad. I love turbot. It's delicious. I prefer brill. Yeah? Yeah. Brill's a bit softer, eh? Yeah, nice. Love to see a flatty catch and cook. Nice. Any bites? We've had one bream, and the rest has just been uh, sea lettuce. We foraged a light. <laughs> yeah, we, for we foraged a light. Look, better than a lobster. It's probably worth more than a lobster as well. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the Ben Jay. Yeah, hopefully. Oh. Yeah, I've caught sole before. My biggest sole is three pound, five ounces, three drams. I caught that in a, uh, oh no, it wasn't a competition. I weighed it in in the club though. Yeah, three pound, five. The link for merch ain't showing up on my phone, Jay. Uh, it probably only show up for laptops and stuff probably because I haven't actually launched it anywhere yet, Scott. Uh, there's just a banner that comes up on my YouTube channel for certain people, I think. And uh, it just it just advertises it, but I haven't launched it yet, so I'm gonna have to do that in the next couple of days now. <laughs> no pressure, eh? I 
I'm on a phone and it shows up. Oh, all right. So on my phone smash. Oh, all right. It might just show up to uh, to different people then. I don't know, to be honest with you. I've only just sorted all this out in the last couple of weeks. But yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to set it all to public now, so that everyone knows about it. When are they dropping? Uh, it was gonna be end of the week because I'm actually waiting for uh, my my basically samples to come. I've ordered a load for myself and and Sam as well and a few family members. Love the leggings. <laughs> Why were you keeping it private? TT, just in uh, just so I set it all up a bit more. Uh, I I was gonna I was gonna do something, but I forgot about it. So yeah, it's nothing. Like people can still order if they want to. We need a fish. We need to catch fish. What's your favourite lure for bass? Hands down, the uh, scary eel, the green one. Wow, good. Sidewinder scary eel. They're awesome. Uh, black logworms, five pound of wrap over here. Favourite fish to eat is red mullet, hands down. Red mullet is absolutely delicious. Biggest bass I've ever caught. I don't know what it is. It's doubles. I've weighed an 11 pounder before, but I've had bigger. For the white leggings for me, 40 year old man, <laughs> you'd be sitting there with the leggings watching some smash fishing. <laughs> That's cool. How are you liking your rainbow trout? Rainbow trout's nice, but I hear like that wasn't the best one in, in, in the world. Must be a farmed one or something. I'm, I'm no expert in rainbow trout and stuff, but I just brought one just to try it and it was actually really nice. How much do you eat brown crab? I don't like brown crab that much. It's not disgusting, it, I, that's just better. Long time since I caught a red mullet worth keeping, but yeah, best tasting fish. Oh, easily, Alex. Um, yeah, that's the problem, is just getting one big enough to eat. What time do you want to leave, mate? Uh, well, I don't want to stay too much longer. No, that's fine, yeah. I'll pack up whenever you're ready, mate. I might start packing up now. Like, so. Yeah, that's fine. you got work in the morning, eh? Yeah. Lobster or crab? Lobster, hands down. Hi, Smash. What's the best... Sorry. What's the best head torch? Where do you get it from? Cheers, mate. Good luck. I'll, uh, I'll grab a head torch and show you. Lighthouse. Yeah, it's a lighthouse brand. That's the brand of head torch I use. It's a lighthouse. I've had these for a while, they're all broken, but they, they work amazing and they're bloody bright. Biggest lobster I caught is about three and a half, four pound. Any lure recommendations? Any of the sidewinder eel sort of ones. When did the squid come in? Um, uh, probably late August, August, September, they start coming in. And then we get like a really big influx in like October, November, December sort of time. And that's when we start getting like the really big squid. You can get them up to like six pound. They get massive and the hey. cuttlefish. What you got? I got a spider. Well, hey, we got a spider. Old Sammy boy's popped his cherry. <laughs> I'm actually excited that you caught a spider crab. Oh, Hell yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's a beast. Nice. 
Beautiful. Cannonball. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to get any better time, better soon. Yeah, fishing's been terrible. What was that about Australian dollars? I didn't see that comment, sorry. It's happening, I love watching you. We're actually fishing or catching seaweed and crabs. Pretty much. Uh, uh, listed, oh, they're in, listed in Australian. Oh, I'll change that when I get home. That's down. It doesn't say the prices, you just view them. You ever heard of noodling? Yeah, I'd love to go noodling. Pull out some catfish. That's right up my alley, that. You can change the currency. Yeah, yeah, I can change it. I'll do it when I get home. Yeah, you've got to click on it to actually, uh, to see the prices. Everyone wants to live here in Australia. <laughs> Favourite way to cook a lobster is under a grill. It's really nice. Yeah, loads of garlic butter on it. It's really nice. Are you using data? Yeah. I don't mind. Looked at your merchandise smash. Sorry. Changing price to yeah yeah I'll, I'll get it changed that's all good. Like I said, you guys weren't even supposed to see that yet. <laughs> Ragworm's stupidly expensive. It's twenty three pound a pound over here. What age did you start fishing? I can't remember. My dad was a fisherman. He's a commercial fisherman for 20 years, so I basically grew up with him on the boats and like doing stuff with him. Especially like crab pots and nets and stuff like that. And then I started shore fishing and uh, going down Ormoran. I've been Ormoran since I was a kid, like foraging for abalone. But um, yeah, that's it really, and just carried on fishing ever since. Much love from Canada, mate. Cheers, mate. We're going to end the live in a minute, guys. If you've got any more questions, leave them in there. And uh, we'll read out a few more and then and then we'll knock it on the head there. Sam's got um, work in the morning. Yeah, I love sushi. Can we see you go spearfishing anytime soon? Weather's still nice at the moment. Yes. I'll do another spearfishing video for sure. Any more thoughts on visiting harbour again, Jay? We went to the harbour before, Rachel, and it was absolutely dead. We ended up ordering a Chinese. It was that dead. Uh, yeah, in the harbour, mate, for thin lips. And Havlet Wool. Uh, excuse me. Catch and cook with the family. No, that probably won't happen. Thank you. Right, cheers guys. I'm going to end the live there. Thanks for uh, joining in, staying tuned. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully we can catch a fish soon. <laughs>